Hi guys. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to explain how you uh, change your keybinds for General Zero Hour. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website here, xhp.xwis.net, right here. Uh, you should see XCC Mixer 1.47 at the top. Once you see this, click on the link below, XCC Mixer. It's going to download uh, a .exe. Uh, as soon as that's downloaded, double click on it. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to bother double clicking on it. Um, so once it's installed, what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, Windows search bar and you want to type in Mixer. And it's going to load up a load of, um, load of weird, random stuff here. But what you're searching for is English ZH.big. And right here, it's right here for me. Um, I should note, it's only English because my language is English, if you didn't know. Um, but for you, it might be German, it might be French, it might be Russian, whatever language you're, you're familiar with, it should be that. So, you've got English zh.big, double click it. And then uh, third, from the bottom, uh, third from the top here, you should see uh, data English generals dot csf you're going to hit that you're going to right click and you're going to hit it's extract now once you've hit extract you'll probably be greeted with you know your directory um so what you want to do is you want to browse to where your game is stored so for me it's in c drive it's in program files x86 it's under origin game if i can find it there we go, origin game, command and conquer general zero hour, command and conquer general zero hour once again, you want to go into the data file, and then once you're here you want to choose your language, so for me it's English, and then you're going to save your file, for me I've already saved it as you can see, generals.csf, but you're going to save it right in there, um, it should just, you might as well just call it generals.csf, if it's not already called that, but anyway I'm not going to change that because I've already got it here, and I've already got it working. So um, save that one. So once you have it saved, you want to come up to the top here where it says launch. And you see XCC string table editor. You're going to hover over that and you're going to scroll down or go down to open. And then it should bring up the location where your generals.csf is stored. If that doesn't work, or if that doesn't come up with that location, you want, just want to browse to it. So for example, C drive, program files or x86, origin game, command and general zero, command and general zero once again, data, English, and then right there. So double click your file, and it's going to bring up a load of uh, random stuff on the side here. What you want to click on is control bar. Right here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from the top. So click on that. And in here, you should see all of the keybinds for General Zero. Um, I have changed a couple of mine. For example, I think I've got like Toxin Rebel, I think I've changed and bits like that. Uh, but for example, uh, let, me find a, let me find a good example here. So say I wanted to change the keybind for... Um, a paladin tank so you see this and sign so anything after the and sign so whatever letter is after the and sign for example that's p is what the keybind is going to be for that uh, for that unit so paladin is p so if you was to hit p in the game it would uh, build a paladin tank but say you don't want uh, p as the um, as the button for paladin tank so you want it as i don't know r or something a bit more accessible what you want to do is you want to get rid of this and sign and then scroll to the end of the word paladin or whatever word it is hit the dash button and then you want to type in key i'm not sure if you need a capital k but i always put capital k so i might as well just do that just to be safe uh type in key and then you want to hit the and sign and then you want to type in whatever whatever um whatever key bind you want it to be so for example if i want it to be i don't know uh let's say m i don't know just for example I'm just going to hit that and then I'm going to hit OK. And that's going to change that keybind to M. 
So, say for example, you've done all that, you've got it all sorted. For example, I've changed minigunner to R because it, I just want to do uniform. Uh, once you've done that, you want to hit the OK. Close off this because you don't need it anymore. I'm going to minimize that. And then simply load up the game. Load into the game. Just going to create a random game here. Make sure I'm a USA general that gets Paladin tanks. So I think I'll just do USA. USA gets Paladin tanks. New construction. And if I hover over Paladin tank, you can see Paladin dash key M. And if I hit M on the keyboard, it's going to make a Paladin. So there you go, guys. That's how you change your keybinds in General Zero. I hope you found this helpful. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you dislike the video. Uh, comment and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.